My name is Elizabeth Costner, and I'm from Latvia. My childhood was not the easiest one. I had two younger siblings with me, and we lived in a super poor environment. My birth parents were very alcoholic and drug addicts, and so living with them was always never safe. One day, a social worker came to my house. She walks in, and then not long after that, she comes back out, and she tells us to get in the car. And she drove us all the way to orphanage. Me and my two younger siblings, we lived in an orphanage for about a year. At the end of the year, the social worker came back, and she asked if I would like to be part of a foster care family. The word family got me to say yes right away. I only had a foster mom. From the very beginning we met her, she pointed out that she never wanted older children. She made it clear that any time I disobey or got out of line, she could send me back to orphanage. I don't want to go back. There was a day she took me and my siblings to an organization that was doing food stamps. We got our food. But then I was about to leave and my foster mom was like, hey, not yet. And when she guided me towards the long line of people just standing. When it was our turn, the person just looked at me and gave me a shoebox. And the person just smiled and said, here, it's a gift for you. I did not understand why a stranger would give me a gift. Foster mom told us we had to wait till we get home. That was the four longest miles in my entire life. I also remember it was a cold winter day. We didn't even notice we were cold. So when we got home, my younger sibling dug in right away with the box. And the first thing I saw was their joy, their happiness for the first time. It warmed my heart so much to just see them happy. Then I looked down at my box and I just looked at it. I opened the box and the first thing was this little purple mouse. It's my first toy I have ever owned that was just mine. Besides the box, I also got a greatest gift booklet. The booklet was full of illustrations. I was amazed and I loved the illustrations and colors and so I started reading it. It got my curiosity up so high because he was talking about Jesus, Lord, resurrection, prayer. But most of all, I think reading that he is my savior and that he loves me made me rethink everything I knew about what I was going through. It wasn't until a few years later, when I was about 14, when I was going through some hard things. I didn't felt loved from the day I was born till I got to foster care system. Even through there, while she cared for us, there was really no love, no emotional attachments. I remember the connection the booklet gave me, which made me remember what I read. And so when I read that, it made me really felt like, I cannot believe a stranger will feel love for me which helped me to really pray for the first time. It felt like a warm, invisible blanket wrapped around me. It felt like Lord was giving me a hug. Officially, He has found me. And so from that day, I never stopped praying. I prayed that we would officially will have a family. Our prayers were answered. We finally got a family. We were adopted in Arkansas. This picture was taken in Latvia because my parents traveled to my country to pick us up officially as their daughters. Their love for us is strong and pure and I love them so much. I told my mom and my dad, we have to pack a box. So each member of our family ended up packing a box and we send it off every single year. It may seem simple to others, but it spoke so much to me and meant so much to me. Operation Christmas Child, shoebox hit, changed my life. <laughs>